Today we'll be going over the installation and features of our Grove Tech Rail Wrap. It'll come pre-installed with paracord. You can customize colors uh, by purchasing your own paracord and weaving it through, whether you want to go with a green or a brown. On the back here, we do have vent holes to allow for cool air to flow through. With the elastic on both sides, one side is going to have the larger opening, whereas the opposite side will have the smaller opening. You'll notice there's two stitches coming in here and a single stitch right here. The larger webbing is to allow you to put your sling through it so that you can retain the sling and it is out of the way or maintained and tucked away. With the smaller webbing, the smaller webbing is used for wire management. So if you have a lighter laser that takes wires and you have extra cables running around, you can tuck it through this as well. So now that we've gone over the features, let's go to the installation. So today we'll be installing it on a quad rail. Be sure when you install your rail that you have all the accessories removed from your rail. If you have an A2 site, then you will need to unweave all the paracord and install it with it unweaved and then reweave it back through. In this case, since we don't have it on an actual firearm today, we'll just have to just insert it like so. Find the position that you desire. And then after you find where you'd like it to be, just tighten them up. And in this case, we're using the rail sections as the guides for the paracord. So now we're pulling these to tighten them up. Now that we have it mostly in place, we can fine tune them, make sure they go into all the slots that we'd like them to be in. And having them run through the rails themselves allows it to grip better so that it doesn't slide forward or back. So now that is weaved the way I want it to be, I'm gonna just tie it off like so. And you don't have to use the same technique as me if you want to tie it in a different type of knot or in a different place. Um, if you want to tie it so that the knot is on this side, you can. So now that it's all tied, you can actually use the elastic and tuck any remaining extra, or you can simply just cut it and burn the tips off. So now that we have it installed, I can put a sling through it and you guys can see how it stows away. So now that I have it stowed like this, all I simply have to do is just pull it and you'll have use of your sling again. This is very customizable, not only with being able to change out the uh, paracord for whatever color you'd like, but if you'd like the knot end to be closer to the muzzle or if you want it closer to the actual user um, you can you just have to unweave it additionally same goes for the elastic those you can swap it to the other side um, just by simply unweaving it and orientating it in the desired location and here uh, as this is a picatinny rail uh, you will not be able to use the vent holes for uh, adding accessories, but if you were to have a M-lock rail, for example, you would just align these with the M-lock rails. Thanks for watching.